Well, she's a key fixture at the inquiry looking into mall collapse in Ontario. And for the long hours of testimony Heather Moyer has to endure, she keeps her knitting needles and yarn close by. But as Jennifer Tryon reports, she's not just a spectator, she has a stake in this inquiry. No matter the witness, That's it. You got it, sir? she shows up equipped with enough yarn to outlast even the most drawn out testimony. I have gone through 12 of them. 12? Yes. Heather Moyer and her bag of knitting have become a fixture at the Elliott Lake Inquiry. I'm the knitting lady. The knitting lady, affectionately known by counsel and the commissioner. She gave me a copy of her pattern. Listen one, pearl two. She's knitting her own brand of dishcloth while taking in what happened to her town. I have approximately between four and five hundred at home. But her seat has also gained her some notoriety in northern Ontario. On this back bench, she's constructed nearly 500 dishcloths for charity. With um, the inquiry is broadcast an online and in on TV in, in Elliott Lake. And in every Moyer. shot of Commission Council questioning every witness, there is Moyer. Happily knitting. Legal document whereby somebody People meet me in, in town or, as I found out on the weekend, in Sudbury, they, they recognize me. Her attendance is more than just an excuse to knit and a small flash of fame. She wants to help prevent a collapse from happening anywhere else. She has standing at the commission, and at the end of the inquiry, she'll put down the needles and draft recommendation to the commissioner on behalf of concerned citizens of Elliott Lake. It's not only his fault. Making the knitting lady the litmus test, a good example of how many in the town feel about what they're hearing. She takes in the testimony and gives every witness a little memento. That's one from this morning. A washcloth from the knitting lady. Even I got one. In a town where you can no longer buy yarn. Jennifer Tryon, Global News, Elliott Lake.